Welcome to the Seahawks franchise where we're going to be taking on Tampa Bay and this is going to be our uh, third straight road game I do believe. After this I think we do get a home game. We are going to be without Russell Wilson for a couple more weeks so we're going to have to try to uh, get the offense rolling with Nick Foles. Defensively we've played great so far. Tampa Bay is going to come in at 2-1. and one. They lost to Atlanta so you can't hang your hat on that. And then they destroyed the Giants and they beat Carolina. So this is going to be a good team overall that Tampa Bay is going to be bringing to the table. And they're, of course, going to have Deshaun Jackson. And look at those numbers. So having Nick Foles, I know we're not going to be able to do the same things as when we had Russell Wilson. My game plan to destroy the uh, Tampa Bay defense is really just to attack their cornerbacks and safeties. Because their safeties and cornerbacks are by far going to be their weakest position on their defense so it's going to be a third and inches here going to motion out Obregon and we're actually going to hand it to him and he's going to have a lot of room here he breaks it back outside Obregon on the end around gets 24 yards and those are exactly the kind of plays I want to try to use on Tampa Bay I need to try to keep their defensive line off me as good as I can because our offensive line is still a little questionable, to be honest. I'm just going to pass it to Austin, but it's nowhere near him. Going to try to get the ball out quickly because, yeah, cannot afford at least Nick Foles to get hurt after Russell Wilson goes down. You can't afford that. I'm going to get it off. And Brown's going to come up with the grab again, and that's going to give us a first. What scares me most, though, is this Tampa Bay offense. It's just an explosive play waiting to happen. But let's go ahead and see what we can get done here. I'm just going to have to get it down to the flat. And Obregon steals it. And that could have nearly been intercepted. But we get it down to the 7-yard line. Tampa lining a little wide here. It's going to be a second and goal. A pretty big play, to be honest. And I'm going to hit Tavon Austin. Who narrowly misses the touchdown. And it's going to bring us to the 1-yard line. Third and goal. Pretty big play here. Pretty big freaking play. I'm just going to have to run outside the pocket and pass it. And it's nearly intercepted. I should have just ran it with Nick Foles there. And we are not coming off the field at the one-yard line. We're going to line up tight. I'm going to hand it off to Penny. And he's going to find his way into the end zone. Going off forward on fourth down, showing the guts there. We get the touchdown with Penny. And we make a statement there on our first drive. Tampa Bay is going to be led up by Jameis Winston, who's having a decent year so far. Seven touchdowns to two interceptions, but their wide receivers are just great. And he's got all the time in the pocket. He's going to shove it deep. And Deshaun Jackson comes up with it. The very first play is an explosive one. And that's exactly what I was worried about. My game plan on defense is to try to play zone coverage and try to get to the passer. Because we cannot contain this much firepower on defense. Even though we are pretty good. And he's just going to check it down to Sean Jackson. Who already has 54 yards receiving. It's going to be a first and 10. They're going to line up in a tight formation here. They're going to do a little counter play. And Ronald Jones gets... Taken down, but breaks a few tackles, and that's going to go for a negative yard there. Or negative two. Now, this is where I'm going to get shredded by this D I mean, this offense here. When they spread it out, it's very tough to stop. And they're going to hand it off to Ronald Jones. And he has a lot of rooms there. And Mike Evans is going to be banged up after this play. And keep in mind, they still do have a lot of great receivers. Oh, they're going to go empty here. It's going to be a third and six. And they're going to toss it deep. And it gets broken up. Trying to find that connection with Cameron Bray. But that's going to bring up a fourth down. Tampa Bay is just going to go for the field goal here. And they're going to make it a 7-3 game. And Seattle's defense kind of held up there towards the end of that drive. And I was just thinking this. Don't get me wrong. Losing Russell Wilson was detrimental to the team. But this offense is still explosive. We're still going to have explosive plays as long as we have a quarterback that can get the ball to our receivers. I mean, just like Nick Foles hitting Baldwin there, we have explosive players on our team. We're just not going to have that X factor in uh, Russell Wilson who can, you know, escape the pocket and do all of his great things he can do. We're going to have to try to win it from inside the pocket. And Rashad Penny breaks a few there. 
and it ends up getting about three. Nick Foles' short accuracy is at least decent enough that I can give him a chance here to try to prove himself. I'm going to test him, though, and Obregon's going to beat the cornerback. That's exactly the matchup I was looking for there. It's going to be a second and 11 here. I am going to line up empty, so we'll see what happens. As I'm going to get sacked, I had nowhere to go with it. Noah Spence in there on the sack, and that's going to back us up. Third and 18. Can we get in field goal range? Let's see. It's going to be a tough play. And I'm just going to fire it deep to my tight end. And he, oh, it gets broken up. That's a tough play. I thought he had him there. Mike Evans still out of the game. That's huge. They're going to line up here in the eye. I am going to double team Deshaun Jackson probably most of the game because he is a game breaker. And they're going to fire it to Chris Godwin. And that's another receiver I'm going to have to worry about. I mean, my thing is here, I'm going to have to get pressure because that's that's really my only way of stopping this offense. If my defensive line can cause some havoc in the backfield, we'll be looking nice. And he's just going to toss it here. And Cameron Bray almost outboxes my Mike Hilton there. That would have been bad. Third and seven here. They're going to line up in the gun. This is going to be a pretty big play for Tampa. We're going to send some pressure and we leave Cameron Bray wide open. And they're going to pick it up. That's a tough play. Tampa Bay is moving. So it's going to be a second and nine. They're going to line up in the strong formation. I expect some kind of play action, and there is. They got a lot of room, and he's going to fire to Jackson. Man, Jameis Winston is torching my defense. All right, they're going to line up in the strong here again. Second and five. They are going to do a little play action here. And they're going to fire it. Oh, intercept it. No, Mike Hilton. Oh, they're going to line up in the bunch. That is trouble. I am in man coverage. That is not what you want to see. And it's going to be a third fumble. Someone gets to him. And he's going to be brought down. What a huge stand by Seattle's defense once again. Take a look at this. Jameis Winston steps back. And who's getting the pressure there? That's going to be Mick Dowell filling in for the injured Nazir Jones. And he's going to make a huge play there. Fourth and 12. Tampa Bay could have been up pretty big on us by now, but they've had to settle for field goals, which has really hurt them. So we're still going to end up having a one-point lead here after they kick the field goal. I mean, to be honest, I'm a little worried about this uh, offense here. I mean, I, I don't trust Nick Foles yet. He hasn't showed me to trust him, but I mean, we'll see what happens. He definitely could come out here. Oh, and I get sacked. Jason Pierre-Paul in for the sack. That's going to be a big loss. My right side of my offensive line is struggling a lot. We're getting pressured very quickly. And that's not what you'd like to see. And that's going to be a beautiful pass to lock it. But there is a flag down. Let's see who this is against. Holding offense. It's going to be on us. That's, that's rough. And what would you know, that's going to be on Dwayne Brown, our right tackle who just hasn't really materialized into what I would have liked from him. He came in to be an elite pass rusher, hasn't proved it yet. I'm going to throw it across the body, which you never want to see. But it ends up working out there for Nick Foles, and he finds Obregon for another big game. So it's going to be another set of downs here for Seattle after that great play they had. They're just going to toss it out here to Penny on the screen pass who gets some room and turns up field for another first down. So it's going to be a first and 10. I just want to test the waters here, see how bad our O-line is compared to their defensive line. And you can see there, that's what I'm talking about. I have to stay away from that. It's going to be a third and 12. I would love to be able to get in field goal range. Just going to have to toss it here to Penny. He breaks a tackle and gets up to the 41. I don't know if that is in range. It is not, but it's going to be a fourth and six. And I'm just going to go for it here. I don't gain much from having to punt it, so we'll see what happens. We're going to go for it. We're going to throw it, and Obregon's going to come up with the catch. Obregon having another monster game. Converts that fourth down for us. First and ten here. We're going to try to run it with Rashad Penny, and we have a little room this time. Still not much. He only has 10 yards. All right, I'm going to try a little play action here. I'm just going to float it. No, just out of the reach of Baldwin. Come on. 
Nick Foles, you have got to hit that throw. That's a touchdown. So it's going to be a third and four here. Had to waste a timeout. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to toss it to Tavon Austin, and he has the ball. And we get it out quickly, and it pays off, picking up another first for us. Third and goal, pretty big play here. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to have to get outside the pocket and throw a dangerous ball there. But it gets caught up to the six. I'm just going to go for the field goal here. And we're going to nail it straight down the middle, making it a 10-6 game here. Low scoring so far. So it's going to be a first and 10 here. They're going to be lining up under center. They've moved the ball well, but once it came to the goal line, they've struggled a little bit, but they're going to get a decent pass there. All right, under center, Winston is going to play action it. And he's going to, oh, Deshaun Jackson does Shaquille Griffin dirty on that comeback route. Just made him look silly. First and 15, after a delay of game here for Tampa, they're going to motion the tight end again. And I believe they're going to call the same play. Oh, and Bobby Wagner breaks that up. Intended for Deshaun Jackson again. So it's going to be a third and 13. I am going to line up wide here. We're going to be in the nickel wide formation. Winston going to send him deep a little bit. And he's going to toss it underneath the Jones. And he's going to get brought down. And they're going to have to punt it away, I believe. So it is going to be a first and 10 here. Likely the last play of the second quarter. Rashad Penny there is going to get three. This defensive line is holding up stout for Tampa. So the two-minute warning is here. Last thing we want to do is give the ball back to Tampa Bay. So let's at least try to get a first down here. I would love more because I'm going to go for it and I'm going to hit Lockett. And a perfect strike by Nick Foles when I needed it. Third and ten, a very big play of the game. I'm just going to toss it down to Rashad Penny. And he's going to make one person miss. And Tampa is going to call a timeout. Well, that's definitely a disappointing punt here. Or at least our defense has played well. Knock on wood. Watch Winston complete a bomb here, though. Probably. Drops back. And he's going to be under pressure. And is that Cameron Wake coming in? It is getting his sack. Frank Clark disrupted at first. But Cameron Wake comes in and cleans up. We'll see what they run here. That's definitely a head-scratching play. They are going to hit Ronald Jones. And they're going to go hurry-up mode. So this is a big play. I don't know what they're waiting on. They're going to hurry up and try to snap it. And they're going to have to punt it away. Tampa Bay with not great decision-making there. So it's going to be a first and 10 again. We're backed up deep in our own territory. And I'm going to try to hand it off to Obregon on the end around. He's going to make somebody miss. And I'm going to call a timeout. Obregon has been a huge factor in the game today. He really has. It's going to be a first and 10. I'm going to take a shot deep. Obregon has a step on him. And he gets hit in the 37-yard line. Obregon just blows by the corner. Second and 10 here. Going to hit the little comeback route, or at least try to, and it gets broken up. It's going to be a long one. Let's go ahead and see if we can nail it. And we make it, barely. That's going to make it a 13-6 game here. Tampa's going to be trailing by 7. So it's going to be the last play of the game. It looks like they're going to go for a Hail Mary here. And it's going to get broken up, and it could have been caught there, but that's going to be the end of the first half. Uh, I, I like the way our defense is playing offensively. We could be a little better. Tampa Bay has really struggled once they've gotten into the red zone, but as a whole, we haven't turned the ball over. Neither team has, and it's just a low-scoring game here at Tampa Bay. So Mike Evans has returned. That's definitely a... Not a great thing for me. That gives me even more worries. Even more worries. And he's got all day triple coverage. This Mike Evans comes up with it. Triple covered. I mean, how can you defend that? Second and eight here. Winston's just going to toss it to Evans. And that's going to be near a first. It is a first. First and ten again. And they're just going to toss it to Deshaun Jackson, who cuts it back over in the middle. It's going to be a third and three. They're going to line up tight here. This is going to be a huge play. Play action. 
and they're gonna fire and Mike Evans is open and he's gonna get the touchdown broken coverage or something but Mike Evans eventually was gonna get open gets the touchdown another an extra point away from tying it up yeah I'm looking at our team here and we, we have some holes we need to fill cornerbacks are number one priority for defense offense is still gonna be the offensive line we have got to keep Wilson healthy because we see what happens when we don't but Rashad Penny is able to get by a few people there and he is shifty first and ten here gonna play action it and I'm just gonna take a shot deep I'm gonna fire Tom we're gone and he comes up with it there is a flag down though and if it's on the offensive again that's gonna be very bad it is it's on Trent Brown this time you just can't have that I mean we've had two pretty big plays that have been called back for offensive holding it's tough it really is it's it's a back breaker I mean, it, it's just not good. Nothing about it is. And I'm just going to have to toss it here. And that's going to be a tight throw in some traffic. He gets broken up. It's going to be second and 20. A very big play. And I'm going to float it here to Tyler Lockett. Does he come up with it? He does. That's what I want to do this whole game. Work the cornerbacks. Let's see if he comes up with that. Oh, I think he does. Second and 10 here. Oh, and I'm going to be under pressure. Noah Spence again with another sack. That's his second of the day. Third and 21. And I have nowhere to go. And I'm going to get sacked again by Noah Spence. His third sack of the day. Two straight sacks. And this Tampa Bay defense is playing well. And we're going to have trouble with it, and they're going to block it. The second straight week, it has been recovered. They're going to be down at the seven-yard line. First and goal. They're going to call a draw play to Ronald Jones, and it gets stuffed. Third and goal here. Very big play of the game. Very big play. They're going to be at the nine-yard line, and he's going to fire it, and it gets broken up. Intended for to Sean Jackson. That's going to bring it fourth down. They are going to attempt the field goal here. I'd be surprised if they tried to fake it, and they go for the field goal. And that's going to give them a three-point lead here in the third quarter. First and ten again. I'm going to motion out Baldwin here. We're going to play action. It. Oh, my fumble immediately. And Tampa Bay recovers. Oh, man. That's a rough play. Immediate pressure from the right side. And we're going to give the ball right back to Tampa Bay. Not what you want to see there. Winston, though, is going to drop back. He's going to go for Williams here. And he gets about a 10-yard gain. Third and one. Winston's going to fire it, and it gets out of bounds. And that's going to be another stand by Seattle. So it's going to be a first and 10 here. We'll see what they try to bring. Oh, I'm just going to have to try to get the ball away, but I can't, dude. This pass rush is getting off. So it is going to be a second and 10. Tampa Bay has been roasting me this half, and I'm going to get it away to Austin, and he's going to have a lot of room. They've left the middle wide open. He might go for it. Austin, with the speed, breaks away from everybody. And gets the touchdown. They try to get a little too cute with it there. And Tavon Austin burns them. Go ahead and take a look at this here. They blitz their linebackers, which leaves the running back unblocked. Tavon Austin makes a move. And then you're just not going to catch him in the open field there. Running away from the defense. So Tampa Bay is going to come back out after the quick strike here by... The Seahawks, I want to see what they're going to do here. They're going to line up tight. I wonder if they're going to try to run it here or pass it. That's a little wham formation on Ronald Jones. Breaks it loose. Man, that wham was very well designed there. It's going to be a first and ten. I'm going to call man coverage. I don't know how I feel about it, if I'm being honest here. Oh, and I was there for the user, but I could not get it. And they're nearly in field goal range. They are destroying my face. It's going to be first and ten. They're going to play action it. And they're going to fire to Jones, who's wide open. And they're moving the ball very easily now. 
It is going to be a first and 10. They're going to line up strong. Motion out the running back there. And it's going to be a play action. And, I mean, he was double covered when he got that out that quick. This offense is ro 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 rolling on me. It is going to be a third and four. Very dangerous situation for me, especially. And he's going to fire it. But it is going to be stopped short of the six. And that's going to be another stand there by Seattle. So they are going to go for the field goal. It would give them the lead here late at Tampa. And they make it. And it's a two-point game. What a, what a game it's been so far, too. First and ten here. Going to throw it. Oh, and it's picked off. Juan Alexander with the interception. Was going for Baldwin. And it gets intercepted. And that's a... Oh. So a second and eight. Now they're going to run it. And Cam Chancellor sniffs that out. And they're going to... I mean, they're holding Tampa. So another very big play. Third and ten. After the turnover, what can they do? Jameis Winston has all day again. No pressure. And they're... That's going to be a touchdown. I, I cannot believe how long he had in the pocket. Deshaun Jackson hauls it in in traffic. Well, after a bad play on my part, to be honest, that wasn't even an accuracy problem. That was just a horrible read on me. We're in a big hole here, and we're going to have to come back. I'm just going to toss it here to Vanette for a little quick gain, and I'm going to go hurry up mode. I would love to try and get a playoff here before, before the half is over. So we're going to call a play. Hike the ball, bro. And I'm going to hurry up and pass it to Vanette. He's going to break a tackle. And I think he gets the first. They are going to send a blitz at my face, which is going to be quite scary. Um, let me put Obregon here on a little slant route. We'll see what happens. As he's going to break open. And we know his speed. He's going to break it over the middle. And a nice little play there. Let's go hurry up mode. Let's keep this thing rolling here. See what we can do. First and ten. We're moving it well. We are moving it well. And I'm just going to have to toss it here. And it gets caught by Baldwin. Trucks over somebody and turns that into a positive game. Third and five here. And I'm going to toss it to Baldwin. And he's going to come up with it. Reliable target making a very important grab for us. All right, second down here. Oh, and we get met immediately. I told you, this defense is tough for Tampa. Third and 12 here. Third and 12, and I'm going to fire it over the middle. And I think I had it, but it got broken up there. We'll see what happens. And that's going to be a high one. And we make it and cut it back into a six-point game here late. Third and nine here. I'm going to need some pressure. They're just going to toss it to Jones underneath. And we get the stop that we need here. First and ten here. We're going to hand it off to Obregon again on another end around. And he can't make somebody miss, but he ends up getting about four. And Dwayne Brown is shaking up. Back to a guy we cannot lose. Oh, that's very bad. Losing Dwayne Brown is super just bad for me. Not much I can say about that other than it's very bad. And I'm just going to try to get it out here. And Obregon makes the catch. That was a great throw and catch. Obregon has to be up there in yards. Second and ten here. I definitely don't like to look at this. I feel like they're going to blitz. And they are. But I'm going to hit Baldwin over the middle. And he's going to pick up some yards. Nick Foles now over 400 yards. So I had an illegal block in the back. And Rashad Penny's hurt. So what, I mean, how much more could have happened there? That's all I want to know. I'm just going to toss it to Tavon Austin. See what he can do. Make, and he fumbles it. He fumbles it. That, that's what could have happened worse. Fumbles the ball. Dislocated shoulder. Rashad Penny's out. All right, Winston's going to take it in the gun, and he's going to hit Chris Godwin, but Shaquem Griffin's there to break it up. Big third and nine. Winston's going to get it, and he's going to fire to Mike Evans, who makes a tough grab. Third and ten, very big play, very big play. Bunch formation, and Jameis Winston's going to scramble around. He's got all day. Come on, take him out. 
And they're going to get to the 39. Are they going to go for a field goal? They end up having to punt it away here. And can Nick Foles go down, get a touchdown? We'll see here. They leave him unblocked. I'm going to take off with him and slide. Going to motion out Lockett here. We'll see what happens. And I'm just going to have to toss it to Lockett. He makes a spin move, but not a lot of yards there. We're going to have to go up hurry mode. We're going to have to go hurry mode here. Something I would not like to have to do, especially with Austin in the game. And I'm going to hand it to him, and he's going to be short. Huge play in the game right here. Fourth and one. We have to go for it. Can we get the first? And we're able to barely get the first down. We're going to be able to maybe drive down the field. We'll see. We need a touchdown here. Tough spot to be in. Tough spot to be in. And I'm going to thread it. And Obregon comes up with the grab. Second and ten. Very important play. And I'm going to find Disley, but then it fumbles. Oh, Jesus, bro. It fumbles. Second and three. We have got to get a stop if we want a chance. We have to stop him. And we end up stopping him just short of the first. It's going to be a third and two. They're going to line up under center here. They're going to run it off with Jones. And he gets stopped. Tyler Lockett's going to get a chance to return this here. Oh, and that's a horrible return. I should have just let it bounce. Third and four. Huge play. Oh, and we get sacked. Well, the game is on the line here. Right here, fourth and ten. And I'm just going to have to see what happens here. I'm going to pass it, and Brown's going to come up with the grab. And we're going to have to go hurry up mode. we got to score very quickly. Very freaking quickly here. Looks like they're going to blitz again. And that's going to be caught. We're going to have to call a timeout here. First and ten. We have got to do something. And I'm going to get it off here. And Baldwin's going to come up with the grab and get out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Second and ten right now. Right now is I'm going to fire it. And it gets caught. And we got to go hurry up mode very fast. Very freaking fast. We got to score. Go, get the ball off, get the ball off. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I got intercepted there. The, oh my god. I had to, I was trying to get the ball off, bro. Gets picked off. Probably had three easy touchdowns there, and that's going to be how it ends. Okay, and the game's going to be over. Tough game. Tough play there. I know that was on me, that interception, but we had a couple of really bad turnovers there. That I wish I could have taken back, but that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that sub button and please share the video. I will greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you think about our season. Now we're going to be 2-2. Two and two. Let me know how you think we finished this year out, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.